Welcome back to Gem and Cozy. This month's stationery club is dessert themed. This is the art print. It's a mixed media watercolor piece that I painted. The two stickers are Flower Power and Flake It Till You Make It. And the sticking out for this month is the Flake It Till You Make It with some clouds and stars as well. I thought I'd bring you guys along for the morning, so I started off with a little acai bowl type of thing. I recently bought some pen parts and chia seeds, so I like to top it off for more nutrients as well as some texture. And then I decided to take Safi into the backyard for some sunbathing time. We usually do our morning walk first, but we did it in reverse today because I wanted to walk her with my boyfriend after his meeting and she absolutely loves sunbathing throughout the day, so here we are just chilling for a good 30 minutes. She's not allowed to run around a lot after her surgery, so that's why she's on her leash. And I saw this little cute bumblebee doing its thing and I had to record it. It actually scared me because it flew straight at me while I was filming and I have officially learned my lesson. Oh, busy bee. I ordered a bunch of stamps. So everything arrived together, which is perfect. Ooh. So this is the two ounce stamp that I put next to the regular forever stamp. And I decided to get two sets of 100 this time. And I got a slightly different design just to switch things up. I noticed all the two ounce stamps are floral like this. And I think it's because a lot of people use them for their wedding. This one is the first class stamp that I got and I am hitting a point where I'm starting to get repeats because I sort of like certain designs more than others and my favorite ones are the Disney villains as well as these Bugs Bunny ones and I've used them in the past and I just think they're so so darling, so cute. I really loved Space Jam growing up, so I love that one with the basketball, but I just love all the silliness of these stamps, so I got more of these. I still have some other stamps left from last month, so I have the Snoopy ones and a set of the Popsicle stamps, so I will utilize all of them for this month. I need to do a full inventory check on all of these sticky notes and some of them have clamp marks on them so I will need to ask for a replacement on some of them. I have so many shipments right now so I'm trying to work through them because I order these sticky notes in small batches to help with the print quality. I've noticed that the print quality is so much better whenever I'm printing with Vistaprint when it's a quantity of 50 or less, which is so weird. But some of them end up with these little marks on the front, some discoloration. It only affects the first page, but I wouldn't want anyone to have, you know, 49 pages of good sticky notes. So it is what it is. I'm so glad that you guys helped me pick out the phrase on the sticky note because I would have never considered flake it till you make it for this, but it makes so much sense with it being like a very uplifting, motivational moon star design. And I can already tell it's gonna be one of my favorite designs, so I'm excited to share this with you all. I'm such a sucker for blue too, so so many of my designs end up being blue for sticky notes. Oh, this one has a mark. And this one's good. So let's get everything set up. I got some new envelopes to work with. It's this one by XCX Park. 
um, they're A7 blank cards, and I always look for one that comes with a little backing just to support the integrity and durability of the package more. And I wanted to try switching to a white one because I noticed that it's a lot harder for me to seal the brown ones than I had in the past, the craft envelope ones, which I still have some of. And I also thought it'd be fun if I can figure out how to print something on this one. So like a little thank you or maybe a coloring page or something. I don't think I'll get to it obviously this month, but maybe in the next month or two I can tinker with it and see if I can come to a good design. I did play around and try to print it on a sample and I couldn't get my printer to size it correctly. So. I'll probably ask my boyfriend for help. I always try things first and then I'm like, when I'm struggling, that's when I'm like, okay, it's time to ask for help. <laughs> so let's do some packing and some chatting. I, <laughs> I don't even know where to start, guys. I feel so frazzled lately. There's just been so much going on and I feel like I'm one of those people who don't really like to complain. And then over time, I realized that was really pushing a lot of people away from me because I'm one of those people who listen to other people really well. Like, I'm a good listener. Um, people like to come to me for advice, that kind of stuff. But then I feel like I'm very closed off about a lot of personal matters when it comes to like my own things. And I think it's because I just don't want to burden people or make people feel like I'm trauma dumping or you know that kind of thing and of course I have a really good friend the friend that just got married recently and she and I are able to talk about everything and I'll always be like hey if this is too much to listen to like please let me know like I don't ever want to make you feel like I'm overwhelming you that sort of thing and we just know like <laughs> to tell each other what's up and be honest with each other but yeah, I just feel like this whole year has just been kind of chaotic and it's been hard to talk about because a lot of the stuff going on isn't stuff that I could just comfortably share because it's not all like about me, if that makes sense. Look at this lonely stamp. So this year has just been really, really chaotic and emotional, overwhelming, stressful, kind of all the above. It started off with my aunt visiting at the beginning of the year and a lot of you guys saw videos of her spending time with me on TikTok and Instagram. Um, it was really nice, like I, I had a good time with her. Uh, she ended up staying longer than I expected, so hosting was uh, really tiring towards the end, which, you know, she was aware of, I was aware of. It just wasn't planned out in the sense where she initially gave me a day that she was leaving, and then when she got here, she was like, oh, I'm gonna stay longer. And I wanted her to, but I just wasn't prepared for it. So um, we know for next time, <laughs> a month and a half was a long time. So we know for next time what to do to make sure we have a game plan if, she is going to stay longer so that we could plan other activities and whatnot. Um, and shortly after that, like right as she was leaving, we had a lot of other like family related issues come up and just a lot of people needed our support. And it was a, kind of like a, a constant thing for a while. And uh, right now it's kind of the case too. So it's just been... A lot that's that's kind of like a nice way of me being able to summarize without giving too many details of course um, because I want to just respect everyone's privacy and it's not my story to tell but the takeaway that I've been experiencing with everything is that I'm one of those people who really really kind of care too much sometimes and it's hard for me to set boundaries for myself when I know that I'm a person that needs to be like supportive or in a specific role in a situation. I, I think I just take a lot of burden and 
I start to feel like I'm constantly thinking about it and constantly talking about it and trying to figure out like how to help the situation and it just gets really emotional and overwhelming for me. So I'm learning a lot about myself throughout this year and trying to set healthy boundaries while trying to be helpful and take care of myself and that has been a whole experience in itself. So here I am. I think my energy levels have been very up and down because of it and I am honestly just trying to be present. <laughs> oh look how cute these are and sort of think of it like okay let's take things slow let's take things day by day and go from there because there's always so much that will need to be taken care of and, and handled but i think when you zoom out too far and you're like overwhelming yourself thinking about all the things that you are responsible for it's really really overwhelming and it's nice to sometimes just be like hey let's just take things day by day and not stress yourself out so that's kind of been my pace lately that's what i've been going for and it's hard <laughs> it's hard to to do that but the, the good things that i think i've been experiencing lately is that i have been trying to prioritize my health more. I started to swim more and run more and just find different ways to stay active. And that I feel like has been really helpful. And I'm at that point now where if I don't exercise a certain amount, I start to feel the withdrawal. <laughs> and I start to feel like, oh my God, I need to go outside and like exercise or walk. So the other day, I went for an annual checkup with my doctor and I usually feel very lightheaded after I go get blood drawn so I try to have a really easy day and I realized that towards the end of the day I actually started to feel more energy and I was like oh I feel really really sluggish now so I went to a nearby outdoor mall type of setup it's probably like one of the most popular ones in this area and I just walked around like all the stores were closed but the restaurants were open and I just walked for I think like 40 minutes with my sister and it was just a nice way to get a change of scenery and get some exercise in and it was so nice and I'm just very appreciative of the fact that places like that exist near me Ooh, I kind of like the setup that I have going on. You guys can see my table better. So I have my phone in a tripod that has like a ring light around it. And my friend actually bought it for me as a gift. And I wasn't really sure how to like utilize it and set it up because the angles get really difficult to like master sometimes. And my desk is always just chaos. And I think for a while I really didn't want you guys to just see everything and try to keep things organized and clean but the more I think about it the more I'm, I'm realizing like this is just the reality of my work and my office space and I don't think I have anything like you know too cluttered for you guys to look at but um it kind of comes down to like that whole like what is the aesthetic you want and everything and I think sometimes when other people see my content and like know that I do this full time they're like oh you just left that all in there and I'm like yeah I do because one it's easier and two I feel like this is my authentic self so um I'm not gonna sugarcoat what running a small business or being an artist looks like of course, if it's like a huge mess, I would clean up and then tell you guys I cleaned up, but you know what I mean. I've been getting so many notes and emails and messages about people who um, recently ordered or just ordered, and a lot of you guys are telling me that you're struggling with your mental health, and it really, like, I totally connected with it, and 
I just feel for all of us because we're all going through different things and it really sucks whenever I hear someone's going through a hard time. Um, in some ways, I guess it makes people feel less alone knowing that all of us are struggling with different things. But I do feel like something is in the air lately. Something is in the water. Okay. Oh, well, something else that I feel like really has helped me is the fact that I started journaling for fun. And I do want to make a video about it one day. Um, it is very... What I noticed is that I have so many ideas for YouTube and long-form content, but it's very, very draining because it's like almost like a whole day or at least several hours of figuring out exactly how you want to film something, what do you want to share. It's almost like writing an essay. You have to like write out a movie script first and kind of get an idea of what topics you're covering, what the layout is going to be like. And I have so many ideas, I just need to make sure that my timeline and my energy reserve lines up with everything, you know? So today is a good day to pack orders. Um, I have dinner plans in the evening and yesterday I went to look at houses in the evening too. So it's still been really, really busy but I am trying to squeeze in some me time. You and me time, I should say. Gem and cozy time. A lot of you guys have been following me on Facebook lately and that has been really different and fun too because I started posting reels on Facebook, I think November of last year. And Recently, I've just met a lot of people through it, and a lot of people are finding me on there. So that's been really cool to connect with a new audience, and that has been really helpful because um, I'm always thinking, like, how do I diversify and grow my audience, especially when I have emergencies or harder months, kind of like what's going on right now, like with Safi's surgery recovery, like I... I worked but I couldn't really work work and then right now I also have um, my sister living with me so there's just like more going on more busyness and you kind of always have to think forward and be like what can I do to help people find me and Facebook has been really awesome to me over the past few months so I'm really grateful and it's really cool because Shopify also has this little option when you guys check out where it's a feature, I shouldn't say option, but the feature lets me see where you guys came from when you check out. So if, if someone discovered me from Facebook and then clicked directly from there to come to my website, then it actually tells me and I'm like, oh, that's so cool. And then a bunch of people also leave me comments saying, hey, I found you here, which I always love to see so that's been awesome so the wedding I recently went to was very nice it was the largest wedding I've been to <laughs> so it was very chaotic too I shared with you guys on my socials about all the difficulty I had getting to the wedding because I had issues with United and oh it was so stressful I think something about flying now now that I'm older is also more tiring and more um, nerve-wracking I've never been like a nervous flyer I'm very comfortable on planes but this year just has been so chaotic and I think the almost the anxiety of like knowing you have all this stuff going on at home you have you know things going on with your dog and stuff in life um, made me feel kind of bad about traveling too um, but it was supposed to be like a longer trip my boyfriend and I wanted to do a road trip from LA to San Francisco and check out a lot of national parks like we wanted to go to Sequoia and Yosemite and we still plan on doing that but the only reason we couldn't is because of Safi surgery it totally derailed us um, but I'm so glad she's doing really well, so that's 
that's the most important part, so I'm glad she's okay. And we can just plan to travel another time. But because of that, we decided just to save on money and because it was just gonna be like one day for the wedding, that I would just go by myself to my bestie's wedding. And it worked out like once I got there, but I was like, I don't know how I'm still functional right now because everything was such a disarray of like low energy, not enough sleep, jet lag, and then we were on our feet the whole day because there were so many uh, photo shoots and activities and we had a tea ceremony which is traditionally Vietnamese and it happened to take place outside and it was a beautiful park but it was so hot that day because for whatever reason there was a heat wave that weekend and we were in full length gowns just like sweating up a storm and having to like carry chairs and move things and you know make sure everyone's doing well the bride and the groom especially so it was so so tiring we were exhausted by the time we got to the reception and i was just so grateful for the air conditioning once we got there oh the colors look so nice together the blue the orange and the pink it has like sunset vibes time for envelopes so once the wedding passed, the next day I was flying out in the afternoon. So I was able to check out a little bit of San Francisco with the new bride and groom, which was really sweet of them because I wasn't expecting them to take me anywhere. I was like, I will just lift to the airport and catch you another time kind of thing. But um, they actually took me to a few places really quickly while we were in the area, which was really sweet of them. And I really like the hidden steps that we checked out. And there are two in San Francisco. They're so beautiful. They have these really ornate tile like components to them. And they had words across a lot of the steps too. And if I had more time, I would have just hung out and probably even eaten there. Um, but it was really pretty. And I really liked this like kind of cascading, like arching, concept that they did as it staggers up the stairs so I definitely want to make an art piece inspired by that with like the snails and the mushrooms and I kind of see it in my head already so don't be surprised if I whip that out for a future stationery club. I have this random sticker sheet that I printed that I wanted to use on the back of the stationery club envelopes and some of them are spooky nuggets so you guys are gonna get a little bit of spooky flair if you're lucky a kitty a bat a pumpkin because why not <laughs> And a witch hat! Oh, that one already had one. I just took a quick break to reset my table and then I wanted to watch the new Taylor Swift music video, so I paused to watch that. And oh my gosh, I just love all the symbolism and fun Easter eggs that Taylor is adding to everything. At this point, I feel like her music is just like this huge connection between her and her fans, like especially all the new things coming out from The Vault and Taylor's version. Even if you're not a fan of Taylor Swift, like it's so creative and fascinating seeing her business mindset, but also how much she strives to connect with her followers and her fans. It's so impressive to me. So that was fun. I so that was fun to watch. So as you guys know, I started to outsource all of my stationery club stickers just to save me some time and hand pain because I used to spend hours cutting, printing, everything. So this was a really good change, but I didn't expect to make this shift as soon as I did. So printing the quantity that I am right now is more expensive than making them from home, but it's really just for self-preservation if anything and I love the quality 
of these stickers. These are from Sticker Blitz. They're so pretty. I have been having a lot of little issues with Patreon lately though, and it's starting to add up to me. So I am going to see what other options are out there to possibly consider shifting stationary clothes to a different platform because their customer service has been so inconsistent and I had this issue where every time I moved the CSV file of all of the addresses for patrons, things don't copy over correctly. They're also including people who are no longer part of the club, who haven't been a member for months on that list. So I've had several months where I've mailed out mail like duplicates to some people and then also some people who haven't been part of Stationery Club like continue to get mail because that list wasn't being properly filtered um, even though I'm using the filters that they provided me and every time I reach out they're like oh there's nothing we can do about it so it's kind of frustrating it is what it is I will figure out the options and while I'm here talking about Taylor Swift, I wanted you guys to be the first to get a sneak peek of my You Are Capable of So Mush Mini Eras Mushies. So this is going to be my second mushroom sticker sheet. This is the first one with all random original designs. And I love them so much. They're so fun and they've been a bestseller. I really thought it'd be fun and creative to make a version that is inspired by all of Taylor Swift's albums because I like her music and I think there's just a fun creative element to pull from her albums and her artwork that will connect with a lot of people. I did want to keep them generic enough that anyone could use them even if they're not a fan of Taylor Swift. So there are florals, there are stars, all of them have different inspirations from her albums as well as some iconic outfits. So we have the mirror ball disco ball, we have the bejeweled one, I love that one so much, lavender haze if you guys have been listening to newer music, and I think some of them kind of double dip because they're a little bit vague. And I just added 1989 seagulls and I also added this one from an outfit that I absolutely love. This is Midnight's Eras. Um, I thought it'd be a fun little Easter egg to add an Easter egg because Taylor Swift likes Easter eggs in all of her work. So I'm adding that. And then I have two designs that are from the original sticker sheet that I haven't swapped out yet. And I'm planning on adding some oh that's not the right one i'm planning on adding paper planes and i haven't finessed it yet i kind of i'm not sure if i like the bokeh yet but i want to make the colors kind of match from the music video so um style is one of my favorite songs from taylor swift so i wanted that one and then i also wanted a cat version because she's a big cat fan I'm going to change out the coloring to match her cat more and maybe the pattern. I'm not sure yet because the problem is I don't want the pattern of like the eyes to cover the face here, but that's kind of inevitable unless I put the face up here, if you know what I mean, because the patterns are usually around the eyes. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but those are going to be the last two era's mushies and hopefully i can put that order in so that they will be here for next week's friday launch thanks so much for hanging out with me while i pack orders thank you for everyone who subscribed to this month's stationery club this was such a fun theme and you guys did an amazing job helping me design it so i hope you guys enjoy and you guys can actually join through the end of the month if you're new here to get these rewards that are dessert themed Take care and see you next time.